as sad as the story is, and it is sad, the mother cannot be blamed, ever. She cannot do wrong. She has paid blood for the child. Natural law and nature's God entitle her. The first act of God in the flesh is giving the mother the child. The first act of the mother confirming this authority from God on high. Even bumblebees know, dogs know, fish know, birds know. Black Widow even gives himself that she pays blood, her life. She is like God. As Eve went to be like God, God made her his daughter, the daughter of the king, one father, all daughters are blameless, not sinless, not innocent, but blameless. The way that he keeps that perfect account with the children, because a mother can only do wrong in the house if the men are not feeding her properly. That is, they beat her, they lie to her, they throw her down, they manipulate her, they do whatever it is, they don't make her value blameless, which is the daughter of a king never diminished. Why Moses borrows from the Egyptian women? Because borrow means they're going to get it back. The women are made servants. Every one of them. It's why we receive them in marriage. So when the mother pays blood for the child, she gets to judge and rule over that child any way that she wants. Because if anybody has an office in the world, a complaint, an argument, a judge, a king, a neighbor, whatever it be, they didn't pay blood for it. So when you pay blood for it, then you've already shown your ownership. It's what is known as husbandry. Cops can shoot and kill people, make mistakes all day long. Why? Because they say they're laying down their life to protect. Yes, they're laying down their life to protect, to fulfill the oath the mother has already accomplished from the onset. You understand? So it cannot be reproached. So the father makes them a perfect work that if you are to build a society, it is to guard the mother's rule over the children. That's why Moses is going to let Zipporah kill his child and him. 